This video covers the fundamentals of HTML. The structure of this video is as follows. What HTML is, what HTML looks like, the brief history of HTML, the structure of an HTML document, the syntax of HTML elements, and the summary. All right, let's get started. What is HTML? You are probably familiar with computer document extensions such as .pdf, .doc, .xls, .txt, and etc. These extensions tell a program what file format the file is written in and contains. These files contain instructions on how to rebuild the document for viewing and or editing every time it is open. Additionally, these instructions also tell you the contents inside of the document. Lastly, these instructions also tell you the metadata of the document. Metadata is the data about the data contained inside, so it could be things like the author of the document, the last modified date, the version number, and other things, which leads us to HTML. HTML stands for Hyper Text Markup Language. HTML is a language to describe the contents of a document of a web document. It uses elements or tags which are wrapped around the text content to indicate how any software that accesses the web page should interpret that part of the document. What HTML looks like. HTML looks like this. You have the doc type, you have HTML, head, title, the closing tag for head, the body, the paragraph, the hello world, content, the closing tag for the paragraph, the closing tag for the body, and the closing tag for the HTML. As you can see, the HTML tags are wrapped around the text content of the document. So any type of document that we find on the web is going to look very much the same. A brief history of HTML. Tim Berners-Lee was the primary author of HTML, which was formally published on June 1993. He also wrote the first web server and the first web browser. He and his colleagues constructed HTML while working at CERN, an international scientific organization based in Geneva, Switzerland. Tim Berners-Lee is currently the director of the World Wide Web Consortium, W3C, the group that sets the technical standards for the web. Even today, HTML, as interpreted by web browsers, continues to change and be updated. The structure of an HTML document. The first part of the HTML document is the document type or doc type. This describes which kind of HTML is being used so that browsers know how to interpret the document. Next comes the HTML tag, which is a wrap around the whole document. Note that the last part of the HTML document is the closing HTML tag. Inside of the HTML tag, we commonly find the head section and the body section. The head section will contain the metadata of the document, the data about the data. The body section will contain the actual content of the page. As you can see, the structure is of elements nested inside of other elements. An element within another element is called a child element. An element that contains an element nested inside is called the parent element. Elements that are within the same level and have a parent element are called sibling elements. This parent-child-sibling concept is very important for cascading style sheets, JavaScript, and browsers. The syntax of HTML elements. HTML elements are the building blocks of the HTML web page. The elements consist of a pair of tags, starting and ending tags, and the textual or graphical content inside of the tags. Elements can also have attributes inside of these tags. The attributes are always keyword equals value. Summary. In this video, you have learned the basics of HTML, where it has developed from, and now have some insight into the way it is structured.